Okay, and we should be live. All right, we want to do the volume, th or not the volume thing. We want to flip over to my headset so that way sound is not coming through the game audio and getting cut in and out because of my settings. And let's pop back over to Arena. And let's do a cube draft. The very last cube draft. 2022. Unless I, like, scrub out real hard somehow and the draft goes really fast, in which case we could technically have time to start another one. But there is only half an hour left in my time zone, so... Oh, we got... I'm looking at Shouldred. Uh, cut down and obliterating bolt are okay. I really like Hana and Elena, or Halana and Elena. Sorry, Halana. Halana and Elena. I don't think there are quite enough soldiers. Like, yes, Murel, Myrel is decent enough just by herself. And I do like Aether Sphere Harvester, but I think... I suppose I could also take in Incubation Druid, get the ramp going. Yeah, it's true. Incubation Druid's not terrible either here. I do like Shouldred, though. We'll try Shouldred. I don't think I've done Mono Black yet. Have I done Mono Black with this cube? I don't know that we'll be mono black. Maybe we'll wind up being like a fun black blue thing. Oh, hey, it's the hourglass coven. Well, if I let off with Shouldred, we are slamming the coven now. Also, Gix. Oh, wow, we could have all the cool predators. Yeah, if the hourglass coven were not here, I would take Gix because I love this. I love that he finally got a card and that's actually good. But hourglass coven is a broken alchemy card and we are taking it. <clears throat> And now we are looking for ways to ramp into the coven. So we could take Guardian Idol. We could also take Sanctuary Warden, as it is one of the strongest uh, threats in the set. It's way more difficult to deal with. Uh, it comes into play, it makes you a 1-1... One -one and it draws you a card, and then the opponent usually has to kill it twice, and if they bounce it or negative exit down, you still got to draw a card and got your, like, little creature out of it to block with. Alright, I think it's early enough I can afford to take this over the two-drop ramp spell. <clears throat> Just do, like, white-black ridiculous threats. Oh, if I'm going to do white-black, <laughs> could gain some life, win the game. Or I could take this counter spell. We do have, like, good control finishers. I wouldn't mind taking a counter spell here. Yeah, okay, let's take the counter spell and see what we get. Circle, my deck doesn't really do anything with. There's Epiphany. We also have Shouldred and Hourglass Coven. We could just take Grey Merchant here. Problem is, this thing is a 6-drop. If I took the Grey Merchant, I would really want to wheel the Teleportation Circle, and I don't see that happening. You have Shouldred. Hourglass Coven is insane with Grey Merchant because it's actually four Black Pips just for being in play because the Witches it summons have casting costs, so... Or we could take the Teleportation Circle and just try and flicker the Hourglass Coven itself. Which is what I'm actually going to do, but it was tempting. Alright, let's take Sad Robot so we can get from four to six over Gix's command, which is very powerful, and the Sky Sovereign would be fine. Yeah, I don't 100% know I'm running Counterspell. 
But we did have a good start to a uh, control deck, so I was willing to take it there. Well, over basically nothing, I will take Invoke Despair, but we're going to need some dual lands to make that a thing. <sighs> yeah. I don't feel like grabbing Gallagreeters right now to try and ramp into this, although it does work with the cards that we have, so I'm going to take the Shipwreck Marsh towards this counterspell. And possibly like a Teferi or something, or an Urza with his stones. So is it we took the Sanctuary Warden over the two drop? Mana Rock that's not coming back now. This is white, red, and green. Blue, red. I'm going to take the Harvester, I think, over, like, the Icy and the Obliterating Bolt. Because Harvester is a good way to gain three life a turn, and if we flicker it with the Teleportation Circle, we'll be able to keep giving it lifelink until we get a better target, so... And if we don't have the Teleportation Circle, it gains us six life and is a 3-5 flyer for most of the game, so... Anybody else that I know getting in the last minute draft? Uh, yeah, was not expecting what's its name to come back. I suppose we'll take the five drop wrath over <clears throat> the land and the other land. <clears throat> yes, we got. Yep, none of these. Okay. Blink down here. Oh, now we get to take Approach. Or we could take Ashnod as an early blocker to stop us from getting run over. And she crews the Aether Sphere Harvester. And, oh, wow, we wield the Grey Merchant. We also wield the Reflector Mage and the Acquisitions Expert to go with this circle. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take Grey Merchant, though. Not thrilled with either of those. And I really don't care for this card that much. Like, I think it's a little bit too slow and janky. Alright, so we have Opportunist, Lolth, Flesh Gorger a little bit. I might just take Legion's Landing as a way to make an early blocker that has lifelink. We could also take the Adversary as a 3-1 lifelinker, but... I would not mind, like, cobbling together Morbid Opportunist and Lolth. I do love Morbid Opportunist, and it crews my Aether Sphere Harvester. So is Legion's Landing, though. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try and wheel either Lolth or the Landing. I don't think I wheel the Landing, but... Maybe the Lolth? Okay. Take Godless Shrine over... Gear Hulk and Norn. Only because I have enough other brutal top end that I don't think I need Norn. <clears throat> or the Gear Hulk for that matter. We could also take the Hedron Archive, but I think getting the white black, like the actual best land for our deck. <clears throat> I could take a Loran. We could take another really strong. Actually, yeah. We'll take the other. White Black Duel over Lily, Loran, and Realm Cloak Giant. All super solid. <clears throat> Even Yorion would be okay. Oh, hey, there's Teferi. <laughs> Literally all of the good White Black lands. Uh, I think we're going to take the Heartless Act here. I would not mind taking Teferi, but, or Restoration Angel for that matter, but I think we're going to take the actual first removal spell I've had the chance to. Uh, 
Good blink target. <sighs> Speaking of good blink targets, <laughs> actually, it's not a good blink target, but it's a good way to blink things. <sighs> or I can take what? The Usher? Take the Usher. We've already seen, like, two out of the top, like, five blue cards I would want to splash for, so. Alright. I'll take the Defensive Wrath, since we passed the, um, Giant before. Uh, blue, black, green. Or Karn Living Legacy. Yeah, okay. Just in case, like, some crazy blue-white card that we saw before wheels. Because I'm probably not running Karn. Alright, so right now our only ramp is Solemn, I think. Right? I'm not forgetting anybody. Everything else is just making sure I don't miss land drops. We saw it already. Yeah, okay. Well, we wield Lolth and the Legion's Landing and the Adversary. So all my agonizing, also another white-black duel that I didn't even notice was in the pack. They go really well together. I am a sucker for Lolth, though. All right. All right, now we're going to take Hedron Archive so we can ramp into these, like, five and six drops. Loran came back. So now we have a Disenchant that we can flicker. Mm, yeah, I think we have enough good flicker targets already. Spirit Companion, Psalm Simulacrum, Grey Merchant, Loran, Sanctuary Warden, Hourglass Coven. And Restoration Angel is a good surprise Planeswalker killer on top of that, so. White red, white green, black green. Guess we'll take the card advantage thing. I'm not likely to play any of them. We'll probably play the Seal Away, though, as a defensive card. Alright. This is the Gain Life Put Counters Heliod. There's a Braids. Um, can't really flicker Demonic Pact with too many of the things we have, like Teleportation Circle doesn't target it. I think the Angel's only creatures, right? Yeah, non-Angel creature. So yeah, we can't flicker it with anything that we have. And we already saw, like, Teferi and something else. One of the other white-blue cards that I would consider splashing for, so... Might just be Braids, then. Like, our only life gains are the, um... The Zombie and uh, Aether Sphere Harvester. So, we'd have to keep paying to lifelink up our guys. Um, suppose we could take the Emperor. I do like Ebon Death, but I think the Emperor is just a bit stronger. We could also take Frexian Metamorph, since we can just pay the two life. It's not like we don't have a lot of good things to copy. But yeah, I think I'll take the Emperor as a way to remove more expensive threats. They're trying to kill me. Where are my twos and ones? Canyon, exact. But not too many for Lurus. Could take the Sentinel. Could also take the Go Blank. Hmm. Eh. 
Yeah, I think we'll take the Sentinel. Oh, there's Farewell. And March. <sighs> yeah, I think it's going to be one of these two. I think we're going to take the Farewell. March would also not be terrible. Lyra for the lifelink body. Yeah. Justice, Inquisition of Kozilek. I think we have enough top end threats, so I'm going to take the Inquisition. And, ooh, Conquer's Death. <sighs> Again, we don't have any way to flicker this one, but... I think I like it more than Kyodai, and I don't really feel like splashing for uh, Urtai. I don't think we have enough tokens or repeatable creatures for the priest, so... Uh, car Waste... Ah, oh, Spirit Realm. Another targeted removal spell that we can cast pretty easily. Um, yeah, I'm not writing Demonic Pact. I don't think I saw anything else blue, though. <clears throat> Player discards two cards. Yeah, we'll just take Braxia Metamorph. And now take the Go Blank. Don't think I'm running that, but maybe. Hmm. Don't think I'm running that. Or that. Well, we only need like six cuts. Oh, cool. We got Kyodai on the wheel. So seven cuts. I might cut the Kyodai. Okay, let's flip the layout real quick. Pop that up there. Do the old T colon creature a bit. So I can. See what we actually have. <sighs> Seven cuts. <sighs> One of those probably invoke despair. I have too much, like early white to go down too hard on planes to make sure we can cast that consistently. But it's quad black in the casting cost, so... I do appreciate how it's not trying to stick an island in my deck for the Metamorph. That's actually a lot of surprising restraint on behalf of Magic Arena to not just jam an island over here for me. The Usher is the least, like, on-theme thing that we have. We also probably don't need braids unless I'm going to run the Skeleton. Take out the discard. 
I kind of still want the Hedron Archive to get us from 4 to 6 so we can cast all of our, like, big scary Doomsday spells. Let's see. Metamorph. And copy Companion. Restoration Angel for the Blink. The Hourglass Coven for more Witches. Grey Merchant for more Drain. Hedron Archive. Aether Sphere Harvester. They probably don't need Kyodai. Maybe we don't need the Metamorph. We have a bunch of decent targets to copy, but I want all of them before the Metamorph. So... It would be nice to have it for, like, finishing off. Players with, like, copying Grey Merchant or grabbing two more Warlocks with the Hourglass Coven. Uh... Yeah, I do have more double white than double black. Not by a lot, but... Like, Settle, Wanderer, Conquer's Death, Farewell, Lyra and Warden versus Shuldred, Grey Merchant, Hourglass Coven, and Lolth. Uh, yeah, okay. At least we got two good dual lands, so let's go for it. We'll see how well we do. Opponent goes first, but we do get to play Esper Sentinel. <sighs> Having two six drops with two mana is not great, though. We do get to go Esper Sentinel, and one land unlocks the Aether Sphere. Hey. Right. Hmm. Hey. Right. Well, hopefully our opponent needs to cast some non-creature spells. In the early part of the game. Or we just naturally draw a land. I'll accept that as well. Oh, and she has Vigilance, too, right? This can only hit a tapped creature? Yeah. That's kind of sad. Yeah. And that's Elder Gargaroth, who also has Vigilance. <laughs> no, this is, this is going great. Hey. Get in there, Shouldred. Get, get your Death Touch in there real quick. I, I kind of need it. Uh. <clears throat> well, I didn't cast her to not block Elder Gargroth and kill it, so I guess that's what we're doing. Oh, they gave me the card. Huh. I wonder what they're planning on doing with the rest of their mana, then. They didn't play a land this turn, so... They're gonna cast a 3-drop? Right? Yep. Okay. Nope, I'm down. There's land number 5. Okay. 
I don't know that we need to exile Isaka. What's her other thing? Yeah, and then this is just fixing their mana, which... Their mana is already kind of fixed with what they have. It's just they'd have pain lands instead, so... Hey, right, um... Let's go ahead and crew this, then. Attack with it. Give it lifelink. And pass the turn. Well, let's see if they give me another card. Ah, uh, they're not going to give me the card this time. But what if you wanted to cast your spells? Lightning Strike and Burn Down the House. I'm pretty sure my Sentinel is only the first time each turn, so if they wanted to... Yeah, they can do this now. That's fine. Although it is an artifact, right? Not an enchantment, so... Yeah. Take the damage. My turn. Well, I guess I get to keep my Esper Sentinel forever now, because we're going to have to run this out. Unless I want to exile it, and I don't think that I do. So, the... One ones would deal three, four, five, six, seven damage next turn, but then we get to exile enchantments and creatures. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Yep. This is fine. It got them a card. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It got them a card, right? I, I didn't miss that. That's terrifying. But we should still be good. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to 11. My turn. All right. So, we're just going to, we have Shouldred in our graveyard, and they have those, so yeah, I don't really care about losing Shouldred, so, we go Creatures, Enchantments, and Graveyards. And we pass the turn. Hey. Well, here's my doomsday creature. Uh, what's the exact wording on this? Uh, discard exile creature return to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Alright.
Yeah, sure. They've already played Farewell. Uh, loses three life. Mills five. Yeah, we'll just do that one where it doesn't give them the option. And we'll do that one again. <clears throat> so now even if they top deck, like, um, settle the wreckage, we can just lean back on the witches. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Nice and easy. Maybe I miscounted? Because I could have sworn it gave them a card off of the thing. So if it gave them farewell, it would have only had six lands in play. I thought they had more than that. When it goes first. I get one card plus Spirited Companion, Heartless Act to kill an early threat. Hey. I love how I keep these like two land hands and draw another six drop. It's like Arena's like, what are you doing? Why did you keep that? You want giant cards in your hand? Fine, have another one. Uh... Alright, little puppy. I need you to find me a land. Thank you, puppy dog. You're the best. <clears> hmm. <throat> they have ramped into Hedron Archive. <clears throat> Okay, I'll play the opportunist then. <coughs> Excuse me. Get in for one. I'm gonna need a untapped land next turn for Hedron Archive of my own. Or for them to play a creature that I can kill with Heartless Axe so I can draw a card. Hey, right. well we got there. Alright, we'll rumble with the companion first, because if they do anything that kills it, I get to draw. <clears throat> like, if they flash in Angel and eat it or something. Yep. Alright, let's see if they have the counter then. They might. They have double blue. Hmm. I mean, they have priority to crack Hedron Archive, but... I'm guessing they have something else going on. Soon's Intervention! <sighs> yeah, okay. That's sad times for me. <clears throat> we did get the upside of drawing a card. <clears throat> and since our artifacts are dead, now I don't mind... Farewelling artifacts to get rid of all of theirs, but really don't mind farewelling to get rid of all of theirs. I hate to use this on like one of their weaker creatures, but. I want to hit my fifth land and my sixth land. Mostly my fifth land. Are they going to kill Morbid Opportunist in response? Because that's going to be awful for me. Oh, they're just going to neutralize it. Okay. They were checking my Morbid Opportunist before they decided. Hey. Right. Well, that's not great for me. They are down to two cards, though. I am taking four a turn at this rate. And they've still got something else. Alright. I am going to counter that so that they don't get a 3-1 flyer. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ah, this can't be good for me. Oh. Eh. I mean, if I just top deck lands... Also, they're empty-handed now, so... And they've got no reason not to attack me with everything. Oh, wait, is that Field of the Dead? They got Field of the Dead! Oh, great. They have Basic Island, Basic Mountain, and Basic Plains. Uh, if you control seven or more lands with different names. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So, <clears throat> Settle the Wreckage is not going to do what I want it to do if they can get <clears throat> more basic lands. Yeah, this is going to go poorly for me. <clears throat> All right, so if they don't have another basic land type, then this won't actually give them... Oh, they just have Counterspell? Okay. All right, that's kind of whatever then. So we block that, we take three, four, five, six, or three, five, six, seven, yeah. And we're dead next turn. And that's still not my fifth land. <sighs> hey, well, I guess we have to seal away Golos now. Ah, oh, that animation is so bright. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm basically dead. I have to chump the caravan now, and I can't get to six mana. <clears throat> so, I have to... They have to have nothing. I have to draw my fifth land for Lyra, because she has first strike and lifelink, so... They technically can't kill me through this. Then I need my six land so I can exile artifacts and jam for five. Hmm. Okay. And then they recast that and they animate the thing and attack me for five. Yep. Yep, there it is. Okay, they got it. <clears throat> I just needed to make sure they knew they could do that, which I kind of figured they did. They didn't do anything to indicate that they wouldn't realize they could kill me there, but just in case. Hey. Right. <clears throat> well, let's go again. Well, nah, I think this is fine. <clears throat> I was going to say, especially if they play an artifact in the first couple turns. Uh, yeah, we can run out that one now. <clears throat> Uh huh. Yeah, we'll kill Urza. <clears throat> they are ramping pretty hard. I'm going to assume that the Might Stone and Meek Stone are somewhere in their deck, so. Let's just take away all their toys for right now.
Yep. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know which one I'm flashing in just yet. <clears throat> might be the Emperor. Might be Restoration Angel. Yeah, I think it's going to be Restoration Angel. I think we're just going to... Yeah, let's flicker Loran, destroy <clears throat> Shark Typhoon before they find a cool, expensive thing to cast with it. And we'll jam for three. I'll play the Aether Sphere Harvester. And that should be good enough for now. They are tapping the Lalmor Elf or Elvish Mystic for mana. Oh, okay. Sure. <clears throat> nope, this is fine. And immediately make a 2-2? Absolutely. Yeah, I'll just take the 2. I see no reason to give you a card right now. Pass. Okay. Yep. Yeah, they're just going to try and speed that along. And I will take two. Yeah, that's fine. Goes to three. Can't cast that yet. That's all right. All right, so they go to three. They have one, two, maybe three counters on that. So, yeah, that's not even a thing yet. All right, we'll pass the turn then. Need something else. Like at this point, they need farewell or something similar. Yep. If they do farewell... Ah, Realm Cloak Giant. Okay. They get to draw a card. Play a land. And now we flash in the Wandering Emperor. And they concede. And we're good. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Majesty. Hey, what time is it? Oh, cool, it's New Year's. It's been New Year's for 18 minutes where I live, so Happy New Year. And let's see if we can win any more games of Magic. Oh, there's our fourth land. We also have two removal spells for early aggressive decks. And if we're all slow and dirtily, then that'll be fine by me. Eh. 
Alright. Right, it's just gonna be calm, take our time, feel each other out. I'm gonna play a land, and I'm gonna play this sad robot. Go get a swamp. Yep. Hmm. They're gonna scry an upkeep? Yep, okay. <clears throat> they like the card. That kind of works for me, because then they have one less mana to work with. Alright. Maybe hold. One top, one bottom, both to hand. Okay. So, first we attack for two. Planes, and we cast Shouldred. Oh. All right, they have chosen not to scry on upkeep, and not to cast or not to kill Shouldred. So both of those are good for me. Are they going to fare well? Then is that what this is? Burn down the house. Yeah, okay. Shoulder heads down. I get to draw a card. Yes. I'd like to draw that card that I'm allowed to draw now. Thank you. Hey. Well, they have no... Conker's Death targets, so... Yeah, okay. Let's see, draw an archive into Grey Merchant. Yep, they're going to activate their last treasure map. And then we're going to drain them for two here. Oh, they have a ton of mana, a few more cards than me, and the potential to either draw more cards or have even more mana, so... Let's see what they do with all of these resources. They're casting Double Vision. Do they have anything this turn? Go blank to take my entire hand away! Wow, that is super obnoxious. Uh-huh. Okay. Hey, well, we still have plenty of mana after doing this, so let's see if we get anything good. Um, yeah, we'll kill Double Vision here before they get any more than they already have out of it. Okay. I am A-okay with them drawing a card there. I'll just let that enter tapped. Won't let us settle the wreckage, even if they played a giant haste creature this turn, so. Ah, well, speaking of giant creatures that I need to exile. Coma, everybody. Yeah, okay, let's play Morbid Opportunist. Because they might sack the coma tokens or want to sack the coma tokens to do stuff, so.
All right, there goes Coma. Yeah, I think we're gonna gonna both draw cards here. Mm. Yeah, still no good attacks, unfortunately. Hey, right, let's see what they got. They gotta kill Morbid Opportunist now. Oh, Magma Opus to get the counter off of her and kill the thing and tap my other two guys. Uh, I'm actually real. There are a couple cards I can draw here, including the Touch the Spirit Realm. Okay. I just want to see if I could get any of them. Now they have their own, and they're going to draw the card with it. Oh, right, they also get to fight mine. Ugh. They're not going to draw the card. They're going to keep... Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. And they have a Teferi. <laughs> uh, how many cards do they have left? 15 and I have 17? All right. And yeah, no blocks there. Mm-hmm. Untap to land. Hey, right. oh, let's play out Lolf. Hey, right. <clears throat> and we will pass the turn. Yeah, the Reach Spiders make it a bit more awkward for them. Gonna keep drawing with Teferi for right now. <clears throat> or I'm sorry, it's not just that they're Reach, it's that they're also Menace. And their life total is relatively low compared to mine, so... They can't just... I mean, they can just attack me, or attack Lolf. And it's not the end of the world, but... Fight with fire my entire board. And then attack me for 5, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, I guess we're activating Loran again. And seeing if I draw anything that even comes close to interacting with this. And the answer was no. They killed my entire board... <laughs> With fight with fire, and now they get to attack me for over half my life total. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Oh, and Pillar Flame me for the win. Okay, sure. I was gonna say, do I even have anything after all that? Yeah, no, that... Double vision into go blank turn absolutely ruined me. In fact, I think my touch the spirit realm was exiled because of that. So I think that was one of the four cards that went away that turn. Is Elspeth conquers death? I think it was that thing and two others. Oh, we tried to win that game after they effectively four for one me. They did have to spend the double vision, but. I then had to kill the double vision, so. Oh, hey, I get to go first, too. That's neat. Well, let's hope that they were planning on casting a whole bunch of cheap instants and sorceries. And now they have to wait multiple turns to do it. Um, 
Attack for one. Yeah, okay, we'll run out Ashnod. We'll play the Godless Shrine next turn. If we don't get a better offer. Alright, so we attack for two here. I will decline Ashnod's offer. And we'll play out the Shrine. Since they didn't give me a Loran target. Well, that is a Loran target. Yeah, I guess we're losing three life. Yep. Take action. Kill that. Jam for two. Decline again. Yeah, the menace and lifelink on that thing was going to be way too... Oh, hey, it's Rankle. Alright, well, if they choose Sack a Creature, we both lose... They'll lose Rankle, so I don't care about that. They went with each player discards a card, then draw a card, and lose a life. I think it's going to be that one. Alright, first things first, attack with everybody. Still decline. Play sad robot. Take action. Um, yeah, we'll get another swamp. Play out the planes. If Rankle wants to make me discard the spirited companion, I don't mind. Now we have the sad robot to lose to Rankle if we want to. So. Yeah. Take three. I could also always respawn by activating Loran, but I don't think I need to here. So we'll discard Spirit Companion. They'll lose a mountain. All right. I mean, we're playing the Sanctuary Warden if we get to on top with these cards in hand. If they go for Go Blank, I'm definitely drawing a card to keep the Warden. So. Alright, well, let's resolve that first. Now they don't have the mana to hit us with go blank. Okay. Evolve sleeper. All right, that's fine. That's a pretty good one. Hey. Right. Okay. That's fine. And I will hold on to the planes just in case they get by Sanctuary Warden with Rankle. I definitely want to keep both of these things going. Or in case they, like, go blank me. Gix. Okay. Uh, so three, four, five, six, seven, three, four, five, six, so. 
attack with this. I'll decline just in case. This way they have to block with Rankle first. To get the counter off of it. Okay, they're just going to sacrifice Rankle. Pay the extra one, they get to draw two cards. Alright, and that should let us take out Gix before they can activate his ability and possibly claw their way out of this. Also, we'll get him out of the way as a blocker. Okay. That's fine. Two, three, four, five, six. So we're one point of damage short. Assuming everything can still get through once Gix is gone. Oh, well, that actually gives me the point of damage I needed now. Hey. Right. Um, yep, yeah, bye, Gex. Thanks for stopping in. All right. Okay. Hey, let's see how many other wins we can rack up, if any. Mm. Yeah, no, I can see this working out. Certainly have a fun curve, if nothing else. Hello, opponent. Ashnod would also like to greet you. I'd like to draw this card with this dog. Okay. That. Rumble for one. There was some minor temptation to throw the spirited companion at them also to try and draw the fourth car or the fourth land for sad robot but oh yeah that seems dangerous for me to just leave in play um this can exile artifacts right yeah i think we're gonna we're just we're going to just say no to Oketra Monument plus Priest of Ancient Gods. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll lose the puppy dog now. There we go. So, that got me to four mana for 
uh, simulacrum. And it also got me the plane, so now I'm at 4 out of 5 for Conker's Death. Ah, Lily of the Veil. Vale. That's a good one. Yep. There goes that. Take action. Get swamp. If they kill Sad Robot this turn and uptick. We can Conquer's Death the Lily. Assuming that they don't have, you know, everything all the time and just get to work around that as well. What am I discarding? It's either seal away or settle the wreckage. Hmm. Alright, so they're gonna go get a land probably settle actually against them like there's a couple of creatures I could see being a problem but most of those are going to get killed by all of the rest of our removal anyway settle requires that they attack are they not upticking Lily okay I love when opponents don't uptick Lily that's like the best all right so yeah let's just conquer death on the Lily I suppose I could have attacked the Lily first and forced the trade with the sad robot. But we got there anyway, so... I'm not too broken up by that. I would also like to take that action. And... Yeah, I'm going to need the six land anyway. Might as well play it out now. <clears throat> the only downside is now Go Blank is slightly better against me. And so is the... Um, Oh, a God Pharaoh's gift. Well, aren't I probably exiling all artifacts now? <clears throat> yeah, this feels like an exile all artifacts before they get back any of their other cool things. And... All artifacts, but not all graveyards, so that way I can get back my sad robot. Yeah, okay. Nope. All artifacts. And done. And I don't think I need to play this planes now. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> Ooh. Um. Now I kind of want Spirited Companion over Sad Robot. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Gonna have the counter. Draw my card. Put out the Hedron Archive. Play out the circle. And let's start drawing cards. <clears throat> okay, I'm feeling confident now. <clears throat> like, yeah, there are cards they could have. That'll really ruin my day. Oh, I hope they attack me with Jadar because they don't think I'll trade the Spirited Companion for him. Ah. Alright, fine. Whatever. Would you like to trade Jadar for this dog?
Okay. Which one is this? A creature with power four or greater draw a card. Oh, hey, Chogmoth. Or Yogmoth, yeah. It's Gix. Well. They are one mana off of discarding the last card in their hand. To try and activate him. Mm. Yeah, they still, like, what can they do? They can attack with the zombie and I'll block with one of the humans. If they attack with Jadar, I trade with him in combat, so they don't get any cards. And then I'm making a human every turn. I don't know what the last card in their hand is, but I do not like their chances here. Are they thinking about moving the boots over to Gix? Hmm. Okay. Okay. So let's attack for five. I'll decline on making the thing just in case. Play a land. I could destroy the boots just in case, but I don't even think that's particularly good here. Hey. Can almost definitely deploy Shouldred next turn though. And try and outpraetor them. It doesn't tap, right? It's just seven mana. Yeah, I didn't think so. It's only been like two months since I built the commander deck for him. Yep, they discard their hand. I have nothing that interacts with the board. Did they just hit... <laughs> oh no, that was a planes. Wow, I thought that was um, one of my mass removal spells. Okay. Yeah, no, I thought that was... I didn't think it was farewell, but I thought it was something along those lines. They're going to move those over to Gix, that's fine. My turn. Restoration Angel's good. Uh, hit them for five. This time we can remove the counter. Alright. So yeah, I think we're just gonna kill the boots. Kill the Gix so that they can't get any of my stuff. Play the Shieldred so they'll lose two. And then flicker this. Um, and yeah, we can decline. I don't need to draw any more cards. They're dead next turn. And I'm tapped out. Yep. He tried. Definitely did what looked like to be the best you could. With what you had to work with. 
But yeah, that's going to do it. Okay, we'll trade with him. And we'll take two. Hey. Okay. And you may trade with Shouldred. <clears throat> and take an exorbitant amount of damage. Hey, right, we got one more win, at the very least. Hey, right. can we get one more win? Maybe. I'd like that. I mean, I'm a little surprised we got this far. Well, they go first, but we do have two drop and removal, and we're one man away from casting all of our hand, so we get an extra draw. And now we've got another removal spell, so. Yeah, nope. Ah, uh, where was my. I mean, they would have been able to cast it in response anyway, but where's my Esper Sentinel? Seems like a good deck to have had an Esper Sentinel going this whole time against. Okay, well, here's my dog. So I don't have double white, but everything else is great, so... Oh, hey, it's Karn! Hmm. Karn starts off at five loyalty? That's an awful lot of loyalty there. Um... Let's see... Play out the swamp. Yeah, I guess we're going to touch his token. And then knock Karn down to... Two. So they can uptick Karn to get a card... Oh, I have a portable hole for my dog. That's not nice. They have enough two memory deluge, so I'll give them search. Since that'll take them longer to get proper card advantage from it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, hey, found my second planes. Um, so, yeah, let's slam Shouldred while they're tapped low. Yep. Impulse doesn't draw cards anyway, so they're going to get to do that regardless safely. Now, if they have an answer for Shouldred... If they have an answer for Shouldred, I'm probably just going to slam Walt next turn, so... They don't have an answer for Shouldred. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we gain life. I'll attempt to kill Karn first. See what happens. Hmm, I have a seal away. Hey, that's fine. If unnecessarily bright. Hey. Let's summon Loth then. And they have a disallow for Loth. Okay, so they basically had everything here. We're getting dangerously close to just needing farewell. 
Farewell on artifacts and enchantments. I don't think I can beat Negate here, so I think we give them Sphinx's Rev. Like, all of the things I have and all the things I'm hoping to get are all, um, non-creatures, so. <sighs> yeah, okay. So they can Sphinx's Rev here for a handful of cards. They're not even casting it. That's actually kind of surprising. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to respond to this with the Emperor, so that way they can't get negate and counter her. So if they have another counter spell in their hand, they'll have to use that one first if they want to get rid of the Wandering Emperor. Sublime Epiphany. Yeah, that hurts. And now they get to go grab Negate. Oh, they went with the Memory Deluge. They went with the Memory Deluge? They have another counter spell in their hand? Like, that seems so unnecessary. Hey, right, well, we'll take four. Man, I really hope the top card of my deck is Farewell now. No, no it's not. Five. That's not even good here, other than the fact that it kind of threatens Karn, which I don't super care about. Hey, right, play out the swamp then. Because we're going to be dead very quickly to the 4-4s four at this rate. So, but yeah, I don't think we can win this game anymore. If we could have farewelled that turn and put more threats on the board... Maybe, but... Alright, let's try and get rid of their 4-4s. Four okay. Yeah, I didn't think they would bother stopping that. There are 14 cards. Oh, they have an Alrin's Epiphany. Neat! <laughs> now they get the Uptick Karn. Yep. That happens... Give them Hallowed Fountain. Now they can downtick Karn, get the Counterspell to their hand. Yeah, I can't imagine I can live through all the potential Karn activations here to win this game. They have one unknown card, right? That's what this thing is. Now oh, they got uptick Karn again. Yep, yeah, you can have all of the lands. I will take your two. I will love it. I'll absolutely adore it. Alright. That is not the worst offer I've had. Run out the Grey Merchant. I doubt they'll interact with it at all. Now they are going to memory delusion response just to be on the safe side. Mm hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can actually memory deluge again if they want to, and that's what they're going to do. Hey. Right. So now they get to see their entire deck and put two cards in their hand. Alright. Drain them for two. Right now, nothing's killing us. Like, even if they get the counter spells back now, they have four turns to win? Huh. 
I mean, they could have something absolutely horrifying and, like, awesome counterspell back up, but... Yeah, no. I'm feeling relatively confident. That goes away. Like, Sphinx's Rev is not even a thing anymore. Alrund himself, but we can exile him, in theory. Bankbuster's not scaring me. Yeah, none of this scares me. <laughs> That's, like, this token and the Alrun back-to-back -back are basically way scarier than anything else they've got going on, so... Yeah, no, yeah, I'm good. We just have to not die for, like, three turns. Maybe less if they... Well, they know what they have left in their deck, so if they don't want to risk drawing it, they can name things that they don't have. They can go Planeswalker or something. Okay. Hey, right, well, I can't recast him, right? Yep. So, we just pass turn here. So they have four cards left in their deck. We will attempt to exile the Alrund. They're going to go get their counter spell, so we'll force them to use that. And then it just depends, like, what counter spells they actually have. Oh, they shrunk him? To play Norn. Um, yeah, okay. That hurts a lot, but... They have one, two, three, four, five lands, so yeah. So, oh, but this is going to kill me, most likely, so we have to do this first. Right? Six, ten. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They kill me here regardless. Well, that's disappointing. I'm actually almost surprised they neutralized that, because they still have, like, 16 points of damage after I kill their thing. Yeah, the Norn was too much. Just barely, though. Ah, well. We tried. We almost had them. <clears throat> so what we get? We get almost enough gold back. And some cards. What do we get? Goblin Barrage. Meh. Back for more. Super meh. And Rite of Bells and Lock. Maximum meh. We did get some packs, though, because apparently the season changed over, and I also... Did some dailies worth of stuff, so... Miracle's Recall, so the fancy artifact is Lodestone. Uh, Razor Lash. Processor. Uh, and this one is Silex. Okay. I mean, I'd rather have some mythics that I'll run in things. We got the dragon. I'm looking at it's like, wait, do we get Mishra? But no, it's the dragon engine. Okay. Hey, right, well, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed my New Year's draft, and I will see you next time. Oops, help if I click my OBS. So have a good rest of your night, and have a happy New Year, and yeah, that's going to do it.